After you've picked a template for your Google site, it's time to give it a name. Enter it in here, and the site name will also be included in the URL here, so name it something relevant to what you're using your site for. I've already chosen a template, so now I can select a color theme, and there are many to choose from. Just click on the one you like best. Now under More Options, add a site description and again, use it to describe your site and choose if you want to share it with everyone or make it private to just you and people you invite. Check this box if it contains adult-only content, enter in the security code and click on Create Site. And here's my new Google site. Now it's time to edit the pre-filled content that comes with the template. First select the page that you want to edit by clicking on it from the sidebar and click on Edit Page. Now just edit all of the text and images just like you would in a Word document. You can use the Rich Text Editor up here to do things like add images, edit the layout, and customize the text. Do this for each page in the same way, by choosing the page and clicking on Edit Page. Make sure you always save your changes. There are also lots of tips on the template showing you how to do things. Thanks for watching and don't miss the next episode in the Sharing Online with Google Sites series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.